Made in Africa, an organization designed to finance projects that promote wealth and self-sufficiency in Africa. Made in Africa is a, an organization that myself and uh, Oswald and Chris set up. And really, it was more to find uh, solutions for Africa, to take it upon ourselves, uh, just like every African should, to find the right solutions for Africa. on the brink of a breakthrough, where all that was lacking was belief the tipping point had been reached, where one decisive act, one word the more, could change everything, like Deng Xiaoping's speech in Shenzhen which opened up China, or the wind of change speech, it needed a speech to bring in the new Africa, its rebirth. I think you do with the underlining like sanitary issues. Six one. Yeah, but that's nice just stuff. that's just that, you know. But like, take this, Six, take this here, right? See this one here, this yeah. Marion House. Yeah. Look at that building, man. Brilliant. If we could get Jesse Jackson, the guy who wrote Martin Luther King's speech in front of 53 presidents, then maybe we could engineer a change. The 2007 African Union Conference was the moment. The atmosphere, a powder keg of personalities, was intense. Gaddafi was making a very real move to form one pan-African state. Many, particularly outside the continent, objected. The only state we wanted to change was of belief. Thank you, honored guests, to also consider what can be achieved. If through the power of unity we who are made in Africa, Stand together. And as the three friends stride purposefully towards Britain's traditional seat of power, very little looks likely to get in their way. Foreign Minister from Nigeria. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your stay, and we'll see you again. Thank you. Let us have a vision of Africa. The birthplace of humanity, the wealth of the world. Let us celebrate and create a future of Africa where it takes its place as the first amongst peoples, an African century of African excellence. It's a beautiful place and I'm frustrated by the open drains. You know, I'm frustrated by the fact that, you know, there's a road from Accra to Kamasi and it takes you five hours to do something should maybe take you 45 minutes. So it's, it's out of frustration of saying, well, why is it like this? We do not need to follow the failures and mistakes of the industrialized nations. Our strength is that we can start afresh, a continent not characterized by disease, war, and hunger. I think that once we start to say that your struggle is like my struggle, that we can start to help each other solve the problems that we experience on a, on a, on a local level and, and, on, and on a global level. If you look at India, and you look at China, they were opened up by railways. If you look about America, it was opened up by a railway. Trans-Siberian Railway opened up Russia. So big infrastructure projects which join the countries together in Africa are key. Well, our deserts 
reclaimed by a forest of biodiesel trees from Ovidisha. The freedom that could be seen from the moon, our waters clean, homes worthy of the name, high speed trains, wireless education, mobile banking, sustaining for cities where the light never grows dim. And everyone has access to the opportunity of a life worthwhile. I trust substantial increases in our foreign assistance, which is in Africa's interest and America's interest. But the true sign of success is not whether we are a source of perpetual aid that helps people scrape by. It's whether we are partners in building the capacity for transformational change. The speech Obama test gave is uh, almost like a mirror of the speech that Chris wrote in 2007. Let us celebrate this day, not only what we have achieved, but what we have been promised silently. Let us dedicate this day to God, the God of all, the God who inspires and gives us the strength to dream into reality in New Africa, abundance for all of its children, that we may lift the pain and guilt of the world and give our gifts in harmony from this day forth, this day of African independence. Is it called this day? This day is the African Independence Day. Ah, this day, this day, this day, oh, this day. And we all love this as our motherland. Thank you for our birth and our tradition. And African unity is an ideal that does exist and will never disappear. This day of African independence, may God bless and keep you and keep over life.